Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to your very first step in becoming a regular expression ninja. Now before we start, I'm going to put it out there. Regular expressions are a part of coding that a lot of programmers don't particularly enjoy and in some cases just outright avoid. And I don't blame them. It can be a boring as hell and cumbersome topic. But nonetheless, it is a very, very important one. How many times have you been on a website and filled in some kind of form only to get back an error saying that, hey, this is not a valid email address or this is not a valid password. Choose a different one. Well, the mechanism behind this checking from the website is in no doubt using some form of regular expression to do so. And that's essentially what they allow us to do. In a nutshell, regular expressions allow us to check a string of characters like a password or email address for matches to make sure that it conforms to a pattern described by that regular expression that we create. For example, we could create a regular expression to check for a email address in a particular form field on our website. And we put in that regular expression that it must have an at symbol at a certain position. And it also must end in an extension like .com or .org or .co.uk, among other things as well. So this is the kind of stuff we can do with regular expressions. And right now I'm going to show you an example that I've already made in preparation for this course. All right then, so let's just go through a couple of simple examples. Right here, I've got a form that I created earlier and it's asking for some user information like the username, email, password, telephone and profile slug. Now, we will be creating this form later on in the series. I'm going to show you how to do all of the validation with regular expressions. But for now, let's just test them out. So if I go into the email field and start to type something, then you can see it goes orange and I get some feedback below, which says email must be a valid address, e.g. me at mydomain.com. So until I type in a valid email address, it's going to remain orange and give me this feedback. But the minute I type in a valid email address, such as me at the net ninja.co.uk, then it goes green. And right now I'm saying, hey, this is fine, but this isn't. OK, so it's not validating yet. Now it is. So I'm using a regular expression to check this, to check that this is a valid email address. So let's do a telephone number. I'll start to type a number. And you can see at the minute I get feedback because currently it's not the correct format. It says telephone must be a valid UK telephone number in brackets 11 digits. So, so far there's four. Let's do another seven to make it 11. And now I get the green light. So this is working. OK, so these are just a couple of examples of how we can use regular expressions to check that form fields are being entered correctly. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to do all of this as we go further into this series. So hopefully you can see the importance of using regular expressions in programming to provide this kind of feedback to a user. But what does a regular expression actually look like? Well, it looks something like this. Mm, yeah. So this might look like the most random string right now, but by the end of this series, I promise you, you'll know exactly what each character in this string represents. And you'll also be able to make your own regular expressions yourself as well. So in this series, we'll be taking a look at the basic regular expressions to begin with and working our way upwards to create a form similar to what we saw a minute ago, where we can check different fields and provide feedback to a user. Now, I also want to point you in the direction of the course files for this playlist, which can be found on my GitHub repository called Regex Playlist. The link to this is going to be down below. And in here, you're going to find course files for lesson 10 to lesson 16. We don't have course files for the first half of the series because we're going to be using an online tool to test all of our regular expressions to begin with. But if you want to see the code for any of the other lessons down here, you can select the code over here where it says branch and you can find all the regex stuff in validation.js. I also have the HTML and the styles up there as well. So there we go. There's your whirlwind introduction to regular expressions. I hope you enjoy this series. And by the way, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like them as well. That really does mean a lot. And I'm going to see you in the very next video.